Okay, continuing with um, chapter 2, section um, 2.5 and 2.6. Um, so we just went over these two problems. Okay. All right, another one. How many hours and minutes are in 20 kiloseconds? A square plot of land, one mile on edge, is 640 acres. All right. So one square mile is 640 acres. Given that there are 5,280 feet per mile, approximately how many feet on each edge are needed for a square, one acre homestead, okay? How fast in kilometers is 65 miles per hour speed limit? A total of 2,500 mil of boric acid Antiseptic is prepared from a concentrate. How many quarts is this? All right, so let's try them out. How many hours and minutes are in 20 kiloseconds? Okay, so the first step is to convert the kiloseconds to seconds. Okay, so in one kiloseconds, there's a thousand seconds. So the kiloseconds will cancel. All right, then convert the seconds to minutes. So that, that way the seconds cancel, get your answer in minutes. Okay, so you have two sig figs here. When uh, If I put a, a decimal point after the 20, if I'd left it like that, I would have to have the answer as 300 minutes uh, so as to give me the one sig fig, all right? But I wanted the two sig figs, so um, my answer is 330 minutes, all right? Then I'll convert the minutes to hours. So the minutes cancel, one hour, 60 minutes. So 5.6 hours, again, it gives me the two six figs. Okay, so the second problem was about a square plot of land, which was one mile square, all right, on each edge. Um, and that's 640 acres. So the equality is right here. One mile square is 640 acres, okay. Now, it says in a mile, there's 5,280 feet, but I want to get rid of the mile square. So, if I set it up where I'm multiplying the mile times mile, remember uh, the units, when you multiply the units, um, it you um, the units can be multiplied just like numbers, just like you square a number, the numeric value, you have to square the unit as well, all right? So, that is 5,280 feet times 5,280 feet. This way the mile square will get canceled and now I get my answer in feet square, all right? So I need two sig figs, so it's um, 44,000 feet square per acre, all right? So the feet square per one acre, okay? Now if I take the square root of this, that means that comes out to be 280 feet. So 280 feet by 280 feet square plot is an acre, okay? So one acre homestead would be 208 feet by 208 feet. All right, converting the 65 miles per hour into kilometers per hour, all right? So 65 miles in one hour, that's your first conversion factor. The next is that there's 0 0.6 to 1 miles in 1 kilometer. So the miles will cancel and now I get my answer in kilometers per hour. All right, um, mils to quarts. There's 946 mils in a quart. All right, so the mils will cancel and I need two sig figs in my answer. This is three, this is exact. And so it's 2.6 quarts. Okay, um, so you, as we had seen there, when we're writing these conversion factors, especially if you have like series of conversion factors, you're setting it up so that the units that you don't require gets canceled out. And then um, the final conversion factor always has your desired unit in the numerator. So one factor is following the other, and then you're canceling um, until you need you reach your needed unit. Okay. All right. How many minutes are in 1.4 days? Okay. 
So one day is 24 hours, one hour is 60 minutes. Okay, so days will cancel, hours will cancel, and finally you get your answer in minutes. And since these are all in the same system, the metric system, they're all exact. So your significance is with respect to your measured number, and that's two six six, and therefore your final answer should have two six six. If you pace on a treadmill, is 65 meters per minute how many minutes will it take for you to walk a distance of 7.5 kilometers so you start out with your measured number which is the 7.5 kilometers convert it into meters and then the meters um, at one minute is 65 meters according to your pace on the treadmill so then you can convert it in convert meters into minutes all right so you set it up so that kilometers get cancelled. Now you're in meters. And then you use that one minute for 65 meters to get rid of meters. And now you are in minutes. And again, these are exact because they're in the same metric system. So you have to have, this is a typo, two six eggs. And so you'll have to have two six eggs in your uh, final answer. All right. Um, so anything that could be potentially benign all right um, if you abuse it it can lead to um, toxicity all right so it can be something very benign like sugar um, well sugar is not very benign because um, sugar is bad for health but uh, you know it could be something that is not overtly harmful in small quantities um, but could lead to death and toxicity all right so LD50, all right, that's the lethal dose um, in 50% of a population. So if you're studying a population of humans or a population of rats, all right, if there's, um, if there's a substance that you're studying which can in a certain amount kill half of that population, that is labeled as the LD50 or the lethal dose for 50% uh, of those test population, all right? So you can um, look at different substances. You can even um, look at coffee, you know, how harmful it is, all right? So the dosage is typically measured in milligrams per kilogram body mass or micrograms, all right? Micrograms is when something is pretty much very toxic, something that is not as toxic um, in smaller quantities than uh, you would use milligram per kilogram, okay? So the LD50 of caffeine is 192 milligrams per kilogram of body mass. All right, so I did a little bit of math. 192 milligrams per kilogram. Um, in one cup, it's 95 milligrams. So that's roughly two cups per kilogram of body mass. So say a person is around 68 kilograms, around 150 pounds, all right? They would have to consume 68.2, 136 cups of coffee a day to experience this caffeine toxicity, all right? So um, two cups of coffee a day is okay. Um, I know someone who used to drink as much as um, six or seven cups of coffee a day. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, again, in small amounts, you know, what we consume every day uh, is fine. Um, again, if you go over the top, it could become toxic, okay? Um, so here are some LD50 values of different substances. Now, the way to, to um, determine which of these are relatively harmless and which of these are toxic is look at these numbers all right the smaller the number the more toxic that's why they listed down here all right okay the larger the numbers that means that it would take a lot of it to uh, bring about toxicity okay all right so answer the questions 2.43 to 2.52 on pages 43 and 44 and then 2.53 to 2.62 on pages 48 and 49 for this, these two sections. And um, I'll stop this video here and continue with sec 
section 2.7 in the next video.